Mike Farley. We're going to make the moistest, most delicious tasting turkey you've ever had. And it does so we finished briming our bird. That was on another video. So we're going to prep the bird for the uh, green egg. So uh, we patted it dry. One of the things that some people suggest is to actually put the uh, bird in the refrigerator uh, for about three hours. This will dry the skin out more and help make it more crisp. Uh, we're not going to do that because the refrigerator is full of food already. To have a rounded bird, it cooks more uniformly. So one of the things we're going to do is actually tuck the wings here in the back so they'll rest underneath the bird. And then what we want to do is actually fill the bird up. Uh, and so that way uh, the vegetables are going to steam inside and it's going to cook more uniformly. It's also going to give some nice flavor. So we've got some chopped up onions that we're going to use. We've got some chopped apples. We've got some celery here. Uh, so we just we just have to fill the bird up uh, so the cavity is full with the uh, this tasty stuff which also some of this can be used some people use uh, this later on for part of the uh, the dressing uh, and add some nice flavor to that as well so once we've got the bird all full what we want to do is actually come in and add some cooking spray uh, and one of the reasons to do that is it helps the seasoning to stick the other thing advantage of it is it helps keep the, the bird moist now some people will use butter uh, I found that this is just an easier application uh, to come in and get under the arms there uh, want to get the front and the back once we've got that done, we want to come in and add some seasoning. So, like a garlic and salt, uh, an herb mix here. Also, we use some Tony Cheshire's. I don't like to pinch it out. It doesn't distribute real well, so I've got it in this nice little holder here. So, we've got to come around to the front, make sure we've got him everywhere. And then... Uh, just come in and add the seasoning. So once we've finished with that, what we want to do is come in and we're going to try this out this time. Haven't done this before. Uh, try to have it cook a little bit more uniformly. We're actually going to uh, cover the top of the bird here with some bacon. Um, this should add some really nice flavor that you could add to uh, your gravy as well later on and we're gonna see how this works I haven't tried this before so this will be a, an interesting adventure and in, uh, what happens out on the grill so once we've uh, finished up with this it's time to get the bird on the egg so we'll go check and see if our temperatures are right uh, for that We're uh, setting up for the cook here. We're gonna have a, a smoked turkey. Uh, so we've layered some uh, of the hickory. We're using hickory with the smoke here and uh, some charcoal uh, down at the lower level. We're gonna add some charcoal here on top of that. So we'll have some uh, of the hickory chunks all the way through. So we're gonna put the fire starter here in the middle. We don't wanna have two of them going. We don't wanna get a real hot uh, egg. So we just wanna be around 300 degrees. So once the uh, fire gets going, we'll throw the rest of our wood in there on top. Uh, so we've got the, uh, take the cap off the top we've got the vent fully opened at the bottom it'll probably take us a few minutes to get up uh, and going and then we'll uh, put the wood in we'll check back here in a second we're going to be looking at trying to cook somewhere around 300 325 degrees uh, for this cook so now that we've got the fire going we don't want it to get too hot we want to uh, introduce our uh, our hickory in here too. We're looking at about a 50% uh, wood to about 50% charcoal uh, so we can get a really nice smoke going here. Now uh, once we've got this 
And what we want to do is uh, put the plate setter in. One of the things with the plate setter is we always want to set uh, legs up. We're going to put one leg here in the back to diffuse the heat as it comes through the egg. And we've got some really nice smoke on here. So we're going to use a tray inside. Uh, not that I think you need the tray and moisture for uh, making the bird moist because of the brine that we've done and cooking on the egg. I don't think that's really necessary, but it is necessary for the gravy. We've got to capture the drippings. So the tray will actually sit just on top of the plate setter here. And then one thing that we're doing is we're actually putting a stick of butter in here. Uh, this will actually create our base for the uh, gravy. So we're gonna set this all in place here, get things going. And then we're going to set the grill in here and let this uh, even out temperature wise. And then uh, we'll come in and set the uh, turkey. Ah, the smell of hickory in the afternoon. Uh, we're sitting right at 275, so uh, perfect. We want to be somewhere between 275 and 325 as we cook. Uh, so we've got the uh, plate setter, got our tray, our rack, we're all good. We're adding some strips of bacon here over the breast. So we'll see how that cooks. Okay, we're ready. Uh, we're gonna check it back in about an hour and spray it down to make sure it doesn't dry out. Like I said we're gonna try to keep it around 300 degrees, so we'll check in and see how it does. Probably check back in about 15 minutes, see where we're at. So it's been about an hour. We're slightly under 300 degrees. It's a really cold day here in North Texas, so uh, let's take a look at the bird and see how he's doing. Oh, he's looking beautiful. So we want to make sure he doesn't dry out. So we're going to come in and spray some of the uh, olive oil spray on him here. Make sure that his wings and the legs don't dry out. Awesome. So got a lot of juice going there. Everything's doing great. We're just going to check back in in the next hour and see how it goes. Okay, we've got the big green egg. We're slightly over 300. We're at hour two. What we're gonna do is check the temperature of the bird and also spray some olive oil on it to keep it from cracking. Except I forgot my olive oil. Be right back. Where, oh where are you tonight? There you are. Why'd you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found olive oil. So we're at hour two. Uh, we're slightly over 300 degrees, which is perfect. The egg's holding fine, even with the cold temperatures that we're having today. Uh, we're going to spray some olive oil and also check the temp. See how this bird's doing. Oh, my, my, my. Isn't that fantastic looking? So get the probe in there and get some olive oil on said bird. Oh, keeping from cracking here. It looks like We've got a temp. Need the readers for this. Uh, we're sitting about 150. So we've got a little bit more time to go, but we're headed in the right direction. So probably going to be about another hour and uh, we'll get back. Okay, let's check the bird. So at this point, we've got, uh, although we're uh, slightly below 300. So we're from a time standpoint, real close to three hours. So. Let's uh, take a look at this guy. So we want around 165 in the thigh, and uh, we're using a 15 pound bird, so it usually cooks a little more even between the dark meat and the light meat versus, you know, we get a bigger bird and it may be overcooked in one area and overcooked in the other. So it looks like we're sitting right at 160 there in the thigh. And here in the breast, in the breast were right under 160. So we're drying out a little bit, so we want to uh, put some spray on it to keep things from drying out as much. And uh, we'll check back in another 30 minutes. Over here, oh man, he's looking fabulous. So we want about 170 in the thigh, 165 
on the uh, breast. So we're getting closer. So this is a 15 pound bird. We've been out here a little over uh, almost four hours now. Looks like awesome. We've got 170 in the thigh. Let's see what we get in the breast here. 165, all right. We're gonna get a pan and pull this guy off and uh, then we'll let him rest for a while and we'll be ready to slice turkey. We've got the turkey done, it's rested. It is the moment of truth for our apple cider brine smoked turkey. So one of the things with smoked turkey with the smoke, when it smokes a long time, it gets rather dark. Okay, so this is, is not crunchy or anything like that. We pulled the bacon off. Uh, it kept some of the color off of it in that location. So we're just gonna take a, a slice out of it here and uh, see how that tastes. So there we go. That is one phenomenal moist piece of turkey. So we'll carve it all up and enjoy it. I uh, hope you and your family enjoys yours. So if you have any suggestions on other things that we ought to try to cook on the green egg, uh, please add those in the comments down below. So, thanks again, and we'll look forward to your comments, and uh, hope this was helpful for you. Happy Thanksgiving. Turkey today, huh? What do you think? Take a bite? Take a bite? Mmm. What'd you think?